Hey guys, I'm Suleiman Khan and you're watching the engineer boy. All right, in this video, we'll be just calculating the weight of I beam. For this approach, let me just draw the section of I beam if I can draw it better. Okay, let's just say this is the section. Okay, let me just do it a little bit quick. All right. Don't confuse this thing with H beam. Okay, this is just I. Remember, if I border it, it makes sure look like a rectangle, okay? But however, if you are doing that with H beam, H beam actually makes a border of, uh, you can say, square, okay? This time, as you can see, let's just say this is 15 centimeters flange, okay? This is called the flange, this. And the web, let's say this is just 24 centimeters, okay? I'm assuming these guys. And let's say the thickness of the flange that is three centimeters okay so we got three centimeters here the web thickness that is three centimeters okay make sure you are just familiar with the cross sections uh things like okay, okay let me just draw it model if i can draw it better okay so you can understand what this thing actually looks like in practical life okay so this can be the model okay as you can see is I'm doing the perspective. Okay, this is just isometric, maybe. Okay, this is isometric view, maybe. Okay, so let's say if this is the isometric view. Okay, okay, just leave it like that. Does not matter. Okay, I'm not that good in isometric, but however, still, let me just do it. If I can do it, okay just like this okay make sure it looks like this in practical life okay and let's say the length of the beam that is just two meters okay all right now let's just calculate the weight of this thing it's gonna be so simple okay and remember this is made of mild steel okay it can be made of any other material like maybe uh, of concrete maybe cast iron maybe wood does not matter okay so the method i'm gonna explain and the method uh, which we're gonna use in this video will be applicable for all types material does not matter okay now just remember the weight of anything can be actually its volume times its unit weight or maybe just the density does not matter okay the unit weight of different material can be actually different from each other okay so this is mild steel that's why we're going to use the unit weight of mild steel in this formula okay as you can see we need the volume of this beam for which we need the cross-sectional area that's why i'm going to split the cross-section into different parts let's say this is one this is going to be two this one three okay so let's just calculate area one first okay i'm going to call this a one area one does not matter okay as you can see we got 15 centimeters the length this is just a rectangle like you can say so 15 times the thickness that is 3 centimeters okay as you can see the thickness of flange that is 3 okay so 15 times 3 that is going to be 45 centimeters square now area 2 okay that is just the web's area this is the web which is going to be 24 times the thickness that is 3 okay so 24 times 3 that is going to be 72 centimeters square all right now area 3 that is actually the same thing as area 1 which is actually 15 centimeters okay times this 3 so 15 times 3 that is actually 45 centimeters square now you can add these guys so we can get 162 centimeters square this is the cross-sectional area you can also just convert this into uh, meters you can say okay if you just uh, divide this guy by 100 square okay so we can get actually the cross-sectional area equals 0 0.0162 meters square this is actually the cross-sectional area now so simple okay now as you can see we need the volume of the beam okay so we're going to multiply the cross-sectional area with the length of the beam that's why we can get the volume okay so let's just calculate the volume now the volume 
can be the the area times the length okay the area that is actually 0 0.0162 square meter times the length which is actually 2 meters okay so times 2 that's why we can get actually 0 0.0324 cubic meter this is now the volume okay now as you can see we have the volume so we can just put this video over here in this equation let's call this one okay formula one so we can get the weight of this uh, beam you can say okay so let's just do it okay it's gonna be so simple I'm just gonna uh, make some room for myself okay all right now as you can see the the weight can be the volume times the unit weight or maybe the, the density does not matter okay as it's engineering we are not confusing ourselves with density and unit weight okay it does not matter okay you can use unit weight you can use density no problem here okay so the weight can be the volume as we did just few seconds ago that is actually 0 0.0324 times the density remember this is made of mild steel the density of mild steel is actually uh, 7850 okay uh, kg per cubic meter okay this is actually the the density of mild steel the density of mild steel equals 7850 kg per cubic meter okay per cubic meter okay uh, if, if this beam is made up wood you can use the density of wood here okay instead of 7850 okay all right now just do some maths you will get actually i mean the multiplication of these two guys you will get 254.34 kg is the weight of this uh, beam you can say okay so now the weight of the beam is actually uh, 254.34 kg and this was just required it's now known okay see you in the next video like a bird on a tree